Hello, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to draw problem 1.5 on page 49, the pipe tee. Create a solid model of the plastic pipe tee. A tee is used to connect pipes together. The tee, the type of tee shown here, is used to join pipes with solvent welding. A chemical is applied to the inside of the socket and the pipe is then forced into the socket. The solvent softens the plastic and when the solvent dries, a strong permanent joint is created. The sockets are tapered slightly to allow for a tight fit. Set the material to PVC rigid and find the weight of the T. Dimensions are shown in inches. So to get started on this pipe T, uh, we're going to extrude in the top view, we're going to extrude a cylinder. So I'm going to go to features tab, extrude boss base, select my top plane, Then I'm going to grab the circle tool to draw the cylinder. And I'm going to smart dimension that cylinder to 1.313. And you can see the diameter of that cylinder in the front view of the drawing on page 49. And uh, note these are in inches. Okay, and then um, this cylinder has a hole that goes all the way through it, and you can see in the section view that the diameter of the hole that goes all the way through it is 0.824. So we'll throw in that dimension right now, too. All right, and then we are going to extrude this. 3.12 inches and instead of doing a regular blind extrude we're going to change it to be a mid plane that way the origin stays in the center and that'll make it easier to draw the T of the pipe okay so there's the the rough uh, the rough shape for our cylinder we just gotta cut some stuff out now, um, if you look at the section view again, you'll see that the socket is 1.058. So we're going to do an extrude cut on this surface. And we're going to draw a circle on that surface. And we're going to smart dimension that circle to be 1.058 inches. And it's going to round it to 1.06, but when we do our 2D drawings in Chapter 2, it'll, it'll say 1.058 like it's supposed to. Make sure it does. But it, uh, you can increase the display of decimals over here so that it does say 1.058. Okay. So we're going to extrude cut that all the way through. No, I'm sorry, not all the way through. Um, to the depth of point. 72 and you can see that um, on the section view and it also has what's called a draft and watch this yellow circle on the inside as I increase the draft here see what it does It shrinks and what's happening is there's a what's called a taper the hole here at the bottom is smaller than the hole that I'm cutting in at the top and that's so when you stick a pipe a PVC pipe into this T, you get a nice tight friction fit. So it's actually it's going to have a uh, half degree taper. So over here we're going to put 0.5. Okay, and green check mark. All right. So let's take a look at our tapered hole. You won't be able to see the tapered hole uh, with only a 0.5 taper. It's not going to be noticeable, but uh, it'll pop up in your 2D drawing in Chapter Two. Okay, now uh, to do this other, to do the socket on the other side, um, we can either redo what we just did, but what I'd prefer you guys to do is go to mirror. Mirror face plane should be the top plane, and remember the top plane is going to be in the middle because we did a mid plane extrusion of the original cylinder. And uh, we're going to mirror cut extrude one, and now we have the hole, the tapered hole in the bottom. 
Now the benefit of mirroring the bottom, uh, the bottom socket is that if we ever need to change the sizes, then all we have to do is change cut extrude one size, and then that will automatically update down here at the bottom because it's a mirror of the first one. If we do them individually, then what's going to happen is you're going to have to change this one, and then you're going to have to change this one as well. So we're not going to be changing them, but it's just a good practice to get into for the future. Okay, so we have uh, the uh, cylindrical shape done. Now we need to make the T. So to make the T, what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Features tab, Reference Geometry, and we're going to add a plane. And Just like when we drew the flange, we're going to put a plane out. Um, we're going to put a plane out at the uh, front of the T. So our first reference is going to be the right plane. Change my, there we go. Uh, so the first reference, I just changed my isometric view. First reference is the right plane. It's going to be our only reference. The offset value, well, if you look at the top view of the 2D drawing on page 49, you'll see from the center of the cylinder to the outside of the T is 1.25 inches. So that's what we're going to set our plane to. Okay, now you can see here's this is our front view, so we have our cylinder here and we have our right plane there. So let's go ahead and just change to our, our uh, right view. Now we're going to draw this on plane 1, so when you draw this, make sure you select plane 1 and not the cylinder. Okay, so we're going to do um, an extrude boss. So make sure you select plane 1. You can either click plane 1 here or you can go over here and click plane 1 there. Um, the cylinder in the front view of the 2D drawing it's dimensioned as 1.063 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the circle tool and I'm going to snap it to the origin and because we did a mid plane extrusion for our original cylinder this origin is in the right spot okay so that's very handy planning that we did otherwise we would have to add dimensions to get this circle into the right spot because if we would have done a blind extrusion instead of a mid plane extrusion then the origin would be at the very bottom in the center. But we plan that out, so our origin is going to be in the center. So we did a mid-plane extrusion. Smart dimension, 1.063. And again, it's not displaying the full decimals. You can change this if you want to. But you don't have to. Uh, it'll update to the correct numbers when we create our 2D drawings in Chapter 2. Okay, so I have my cylinder and you can turn, or I have my circle and you can turn it to make sure that you didn't accidentally uh, select the wrong surface. Okay, and you can see that you're on the plane like you should be. Um, then I'm going to, uh, it has another hole in it, but we're not going to draw that one yet because we have to do that one separately. So we're going to go to. Uh, features tab if you didn't already and extrude boss base you'll see it's going the wrong direction so we're going to either have to flip it remember there's two ways to flip you can either click the reverse direction button or you can drag the arrow the other direction okay now we're going to do a up to surface extrusion and this is our surface okay so uh, for right here you need it should say face one if you redrew your cylinder a couple times it might say face two or face three Okay, but it should look like that. Okay, let's go back to our right view. Um, now let's draw the socket in the center. So we're not going. We're uh, we're. Well, let's yeah, let's just draw the socket in the center. Um, so not the hole that goes all the way through. So we're going to extrude features tab, extrude cut. I'm going to select this surface. I'm going to grab the circle tool. Snap to the origin, smart dimension, and this is the socket, not the hole that goes all the way through. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. 0.848, and uh, and again, it's not displaying all the decimals. You can change it if you want. Um, that is going to get cut extrude, and if you didn't already go to features tab and extrude cut, go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to cut this socket to be how deep uh, in the section view on page 49 
says 0.69. And then we have a half degree taper, so make sure you turn on your taper and hit the green check mark. Okay, so we'll go back to our right view again, and now we're going to draw the hole that goes all the way through. Okay, so I just, features tab, extrude cut, I selected on the inside surface of the uh, socket there. Uh, it really doesn't matter, you can select plane one if you want, or you can select this surface here. Uh, either way, it's going to do the same thing. So I'm going to smart dimension this hole that goes all the way through. I'm going to smart dimension it to 0.622. Okay. And then I'm going to features tab extrude cut if you didn't already. And I'm going to extrude cut this all the way up to surface. And I'm going to select the inside surface. And then that's going to give me a hole that looks like that. Cool. All right, now uh, the only thing left is the fillets. So uh, fillets a material type. So I'm going to go up to fillet um, items to fillet. Uh, well, let's set our fillet size first. So you can see that there is a typical uh, typical dimension in the front view of a radius of 0 0.020. So 0 0.02 items to fillet this edge this edge and this edge and if you don't have your preview on then you're not going to see the yellow if you have partial preview then you'll see one okay so heads up on all that and then there is one more fillet and that fillet's right there so fillet you can't do this fillet uh, with the smaller fillets we just did because they're different sizes this fillet we're doing right now is only a tenth of an inch Okay, and there's that fillet. And then we're going to change our material types. Go up to material, not specified, edit material. We're going to go to plastics. And we're going to look for PVC rigid. Apply, close. Okay. Let's change our isometric view so we can see what it looks like. That's nice. Um, looks real good. So um, we have all of our dimensions put in this is this our part is fully defined um, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to evaluate tab mass properties and we're going to check our weight um, says here that the weight is 0 0.10 in the book it says 0 0.1044 um, but we would just have to increase the number of decimals for our um, for our point one zero four five so even though it's off by you know point zero 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 one that's that's close enough that's that could be just uh, um, you know variation in the uh, computer software it's that's that's so minimal that's it doesn't make a difference okay so uh, that is how you make the PVC pipe tea